just love me, yeah, I know. Good morning, good morning. Morning, everybody. Morning. Well, this morning we are going to talk about Jesus. And in our story, Jesus is sending people out into the world. Now, do you know where we live? Where do we live? What's this place called? What's the city we are in? Yeah. Washington. Washington's the state. What's the city? Um. <laughs> Good and loud. What'd you say? Some mamish. Yes, when I moved here, somebody said, whenever I hear you say that, it makes me hungry, like I should have a sandwich. <laughs> so we live way up here on this map. That's where it is. There it is. Sammamish. It's hard to see it. But this is where on the globe we live. Right here. Now, when Jesus was here, he wasn't here. Do you remember where Jesus was? Anybody? What's the country he was in? Israel. So if we're here, Jesus was way over here. And yet we know about Jesus and we live way over here. Look at that. It's almost exactly the opposite, isn't it? That is a long ways for that message to have to get around the world. All around the world. And you know how it, ha you know how it got all around the world? They didn't have phones and they didn't have computers. They didn't have teletype or telegraph. You guys know what that is? That's going back. You, if you know the term AT&T, you've heard of telegraph. You just don't know it. That's where they, you, we send signals now through wires to get all over the world to tell people really quick about all sorts of things. But they didn't have that. The only way at that time that the word could get from way over here to way over here, or way down here, or here, was if people actually just went there. They got on a boat, they rode a camel, they walked, could get anywhere. But that was the only way the Word of God got anywhere in the world to begin with, was people just got up and went. And we have a very special term, a name that we call people that go out into the world, to tell other people about God's love. Do you know what that term is? Starts with an M. Messengers is really close. Missionaries. Have you heard the term missionaries before? Pastor Nyla's mom and dad were missionaries in this place right down here, Cameroon, West Africa. And right next door, Central African Republic. And they knew people that did the same thing all over Africa and some in Central America. They knew missionaries from all over the world. And you know why they went there? They went there to tell people about God's love, to spread the good news of the gospel to anybody who could hear them. Now, the very first missionaries that were sent out were sent out by Jesus. There were only 12 of them. And he sent them in groups of two. He said, go out into the world and tell anybody who will listen, anybody who will listen how much God loves them. Because he wants you to live as children of God. And they stayed when Jesus was alive. They stayed really pretty close, just right around here. And then what happened? Jesus died, right? And he came back from the dead. And then you know what happened? They went like this. Wow. They just spread all over the place. Some went out to India, some went up into Rome, some went down into Africa. They started going all over the place to tell people and share with people about God's love. And the more they did that, the more these missionaries went out into the world, the more people believed in the gospel message of Jesus. They shared God's love in many ways. Sometimes, they do what Pastor Nyla and I often do is we stand up here and we preach the good news and we say it in word. But sometimes they would go someplace and they would help people make farms 
or they would help feed prisoners, or they would build schools. Sometimes they built hospitals. Because sometimes showing God's love is how we help the people, not just what we say to the people. Now, we are in a Lutheran church, and the Lutheran church has missionaries. Well, we have missionaries in Central America. We have missionaries in South America. We have missionaries in Africa and all over Asia. We even have missionaries in our own country that go out to tell people about them. Did you know that? We have missionaries right here at home. Sometimes they come from other countries to tell us. Other people send us missionaries to make sure we know about God's love, just like we send missionaries to tell them about God's love. And so we go all over doing all sorts of things to tell people how much God loves them. Do you know that there are still people in the world that have not heard about God's love in Jesus? It's kind of wild, isn't it? Or they don't even know that God sent Jesus at all. But we don't have to travel all the way around the world to tell people about God's love. We can do it right close to home, can't we? We can be missionaries in our own community. You don't have to go far and wide. You can be missionaries right here. Every time that you show somebody kindness can be a way to show God's love. Every time that you invite someone to join you, maybe at vacation Bible school or Sunday school, that's a way of showing God's love. Or simply showing someone that you care when you're at school or when you're out playing. All of those are ways to share God's love. And it takes all kinds of sharing of God's love. Big kinds and little kinds for us to spread the good news that God, that God loves you. That God loves everybody. And that's our job. And so as we think about our jobs, because you guys are disciples and you are missionaries. And so your job is to share God's love wherever you go. And that's a very special thing to be able to do. So let's say a prayer, okay? Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for missionaries who shared the good news so people will know your love. Help us to live lives that reflect your love and share the good news with others. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for coming up.